Hello and welcome to more Nerdy Rodent Geekery. Today I'm playing with EB Synth and it's going to be a little bit of a tutorial here for you. So let's get straight into it. And of course the first thing you need to do is pick a video. I've picked a video here and I'm going to find a frame in it that I'm going to export and stylize. Um, yeah, alright, so let's turn this from time to frames, then I can see which frame number I'm doing. I'll need that later. I'm going to pick a frame at random, 75, that will do. Okay, I'm going to export this test frame, so I've got my test frame. I'll also export the entire video as a PNG sequence, which I will use later. Right, so let's upload that test frame. Uh, I'm going to generate a new style for that test frame. Um, I've already uploaded it, so there it is, magically. Applying styles, you can use one of the popular styles. There's lots and lots of styles. The popular styles change all the time. If you find a style you like, you can add it to your styles, or my styles, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and I'm going to pick that one. Yeah, that's a great looking style. Um, so there's a bunch of settings here as well. Uh, you've got things like enhance, which is how much strength to apply when enhancing the image. Uh, you've also got um, resolution. Uh, that's fairly obvious, the max resolution in megapixels. Um, it starts out quite small, 0.36 is the default, so watch out for that later. Uh, depth. Uh, the better the depth, the better the quality, so yeah, but hey, I'm going to leave it on normal. Uh, the style weight, so you know how much of the style you want to impact the, your image. Uh, and the scale of that style as well, you can make it bigger or smaller. Um, if you want to, you can also preserve the colours, so that will keep the original colours of your uploaded image. Uh, I'm not going to. So generate and away it goes. That will generate my image, which I will need to upscale in Waifu 2X. Yes, so Waifu 2X, here I am. I will power up my image to the power of style Waifu. Um, now I can go up to 16-bit uh, color depth as well and choose a model. Um, if you've got an anime one, you might want to choose the anime one, but I'm just going to go with the, the CUNet model here. I'm um, just going to go with a plain denoise and magnify and level zero because reasons. Uh, 1920 by 1080 is a great uh, height and width to use because that's the same size as my video. Uh, I'm also going to use TTA mode because it looks better. I click start and away it goes. Now this will actually upscale the image um, using the magic of machines. So your upscaled image will look a little bit, you know, more fantastic than if you just do it in Photoshop or something like that. You know, the edges go all grainy. Anyway, so uh, I've got my waifu styled image here, which I'm going to use as the keyframe uh, in EB Synth. And when I exported the video sequence earlier, that's the video I'm using. Uh, now, I do need to know how many frames I've got altogether, and it is 180. Okay, so I've got 180 frames, and it starts with image 000. Uh, now, remember I exported keyframe 75, so I want to stop at 180, which is my last one. Keyframe is 75, which is the one I exported, and I'm going to stop also. The beginning basically is zero. Uh, in advanced, you've got some settings. You mostly don't need to change those apart from maybe flicker. Uh, I'm going to put flicker to one. Um, yeah, I'll show you later what some of those different things do. Um, the output folder, give it a name if you want. I'm going to leave it as out. Seems fantastic. All right, so it is now outputting to my output folder. And it will take a little bit of time. There's my first frame, fantastic. Okay, so I got my first frame. And will I get my second frame? Yes, I will, but I will have to wait for that as well. Um, while you are waiting for these output frames, you can you know, just double click, have a quick look, see if the, the style is applying the way you want it to. Um, yeah, 
Okay, so it's magically finished now. So I import my uh, image sequence back into HitFilm. This will get me uh, the, the video again from the sequence. So there's my, there's my ball stylized. I'm going to turn that into a new composite shot. Uh, I'm going to give it a little bit of looping later on. Also have a quick look at it now. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. That looks pretty cool. So from one keyframe, I've managed to apply the style to all the frames. So this is the original video. This is what it looked like to start with. And then I use the EB synth and Deep Dream on that one test frame. EB synth applied that style to all the other frames. And now I've got a video with that Deep Dream style. Look at that little ball go around. That's cool. So those advanced settings, here's what it looks like. You know, I've got a bit of a witcher, toss a coin to him with uh, different deflicker and diversity and mapping settings there. There's sort of not much of a difference, but it smooths it over in some places. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and uh, yeah, go ahead and make some EB synths of your own. And don't forget to subscribe.